Welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to create Hangman game using Python TK Inter. Hangman is a simple yet entertaining word guessing game, and TK Inter is one of the easiest way to build graphical user interfaces in Python. So let's dive in. First, let's import the libraries we will need for this project. We are going to import TK Inter as TK will TK and we will say from tk inter import message box and we will say tk inter message box and the typo now it's correct and we will import random like this after that we can create our app we have tk inter for graphical user interface message box for pop-up messages and random for selecting random words Let's create a list of words like, let's put Python, Java, let's put programming languages, JavaScript, let's put Ruby, and let's add like data, science, let's add different things like, um, I don't know, hangman, and I think it's enough. Also, let's add like YouTube, and that's enough. Okay, here is our word list. You can modify it and add the words that you want. Okay, let's initialize our TK Inter window and set its title and size. We will say window, it's going to be TK Inter .tk, and then we will say window .title hangman game. And we are going to create window .geometry. It's going to be 400 to 400. You can just make it larger but I want the 400 to 400 pixels. We need labels, buttons and a canvas to draw the hangman. Let's start with the labels and buttons. For the label side, I will say label. It's going to be tkinter.label. We will give the window and then we will give like text, guess the word. And let's set the font like, actually let's add this in here. And let's set the font like Helvetica and 16 like this and we will say label the pack after that we will say entry it's going to be the tk dot entry and we will say window also we need parentheses in here and after that what we are going to do is entry the pack like this also there's a problem i need to use uppercase like this not lowercase great Let's create a button like button is going to be tk dot button and we will say window text is going to be check and let's set command like lambda check and after that we will say button and pack like this great we will define this check function later on so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say lives label and it's going to be tk.label we will say window text lives remaining 6 so it's the base point that we start 6 and we will say font again Helvetica and we will set the font size as 16 like this great and we will also use the pack after this too and now we are going to create a canvas to draw the hangman. So canvas is going to be equal to take enter that canvas will give window width is going to be 200 height is going to be 200 and we will use canvas to pack again like this. Great. We create a canvas of 200 to 200 pixels. Next, let's create a function to draw the hangman step by step. I have this coordinates by searching through the internet you don't need to you will just use the numbers that i will give but if you want to do different apps you can just search on google i will say define draw hangman and we will give the lives inside and then if lives equals to five then we will say canvas.create line and it's going to be let's firstly say 50 50 150 then i'm just going to say else if lives equals to four then what we are going to do is it's going to be like canvas.create line 
100, 50, 100, and 100. Also, I'm just going to copy this and make copy paste. I don't want to write for all of them. We will have three, we will have two, we will have one, we will have zero. So let's just modify them. For the tree, we are going to create the head. So we need to use like create, create oval. And the coordinates of it is going to be 90, 100, 110, and 120. And for the two, we will say create line again and 100, 120, 100, and 170. For one, it's going to be 100, 120, 130, and 150. And for the zero, our last, we will say 100, 120, 70, and 150. Okay, these are the function this is the function that we are going to use for drawing the hangman great this function will draw parts of the hangman based on the remaining lives okay let's create the check function to verify if the guest letter is in the word so we will say chosen word and here we will say random dot choice and we want to make it a selection from the words we give and after that we will say guest word is going to be like this multiplied by length of the chosen word so it's going to be displayed like this on the screen okay great and we will set the base lives as six great so now we are going to define the check function firstly we will say global lives and after that we will say guess is going to be entry dot get we'll get an entry so after that we will say entry that delete zero and end and after that what we are going to do is we are going to write a condition like if guess in chosen word then for index in range length of the chosen word again a condition if chosen word index occurs to guess and we will say guessed word index is going to be guess and after that what we are going to do is we will get the same level at the 4 and we will say label.config we will say text and we are going to say join guest word like this and after that we are going to say if dot join join guest word again a typo guest word occurs to chosen word message box that show info you won congratulations you guessed the word great so we just going to write an else in here like else lives minus a q to one so it's going to decrease the lives every time and we will say lives label.config and after that we are going to say text we will use f string lives remaining and we will give the lives in here and we will say draw hangman lives we are going to call this function in here great so and we need another thing like if lives equals to zero which means we don't have any more lives we'll say message box dot show info you lost and let's give the word like the word was and we will give the chosen word in here great so let's talk about this function firstly here we randomly select a word from our word list and store it in chosen word we also initialize guest word with underscores representing the missing letters. The function check updates. The function check updates this based on guess. Okay, so let's start our TK inter loop like window dot main loop, and we can just run this application right now because it's ready, just like this. 
So let's play the game. I'm going to start my guesses with M and it's not valid. I will say Y and it's also not valid. Okay, I'm going to say A. We can see that A and A. I'm pretty sure it's data, but I want to spend out my other lives like I will say N, B and this. Okay, we can now guess the word like D and T. And it just said that Congratulations, you guessed the word. Great, let's restart the game and this time I'm going to spend all my lives and we are going to test that functionality too. Okay, I will say A again and it's not starting with A and I will say like E, I will say T, I will say R. It's Ruby but I'm not going to guess it. I will say J, K, L and it says the word was Ruby. Great, so the both ways of the game, like the winning side and the losing side, is working smoothly. So let's talk about this code one more time and finish this video, since our game looks great. We imported tkinter, we imported message box, we imported random, we defined words list, like you can just extend this list as many times as, as the way you want, like you can add any word that you want to play the game with. Like you can add like random words like this too, but you can't guess. I'm not sure you can guess them. So you can add words like you want. Then we create window. Then we set dimensions. We create label entry button, lives and canvas. We define a function for drawing the hangman. You can, if you are going to create another app, you can just search this from Google and you will find this coordinates like this and we define chosen word it is a random choice from the words list of us we have guest words lives we have the check function we say global lives guess entry.get entry.delete zero and we say if guess in chosen word for index in the range of the length of the chosen word and if the chosen word index with guess matches with x then we guess we will say label.config text join guest word and if join guest word equals the chosen word we are printing you won congratulations we show this with message box and then we say else lives minus equal to one which means that we will decrease it by one and we will add lives label dot config lives remaining this and we use draw hangman function in here and if lives equals to zero we say you lost and the word was this and we finally at the final step we create the main loop of the tk inter thanks for watching the video i'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and python programming you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i shared a free data science bootcamp where i teach python pandas numpy matplotlib plotly seaborn and scikit-learn with three projects the video is about seven hours and it's completely free you can just reach to that video from the cards of this video or the link in the description.